Hey, good looking. I'm Vixen, and welcome back, or welcome for the first time. In the last episode, this happened. He's blooming with love. Let the epic story continue. I'm so sad. Later that night, I can't find the other shoelace to my shoe. Finally! I have some time to myself after doing Kamos's bidding all day. Did you just leave the fire? What? Why? Still, it could have been worse. Carmosa was furious and I got nothing but cold scraps for dinner. But at least I was able to get away from the house for most of the day. I always love going into town. I don't know what this means. Stop dinging! I can't believe how exhausted I am after today though. My feet ache. I feel so sleepy. Good thing you read your book earlier. I should go to bed. Kamos certainly won't allow me to sleep in tomorrow. Knocking sound! <laughs> Was that someone knocking at the door? Why would someone be visiting us at such a late hour? Us? What, the royal us? You're the only one who lives here! Silence! I paid for your discretion! And yet you pound on the front door as if it's a war drum! Right, right, pardon, madame. I swear I'll be silent as the tombs are. Right away. Oh, mum's the word. Someone very English just came in the door. Enough with your nonsense! The package is ready to go. Can I trust you? Oi, oi, you wound my pride, madame. I'm more trustworthy than an old priest in a confessional. Such an utterance is of little comfort to me. <laughs> No one can escape Carmos's biting tongue. Now prove there is some value to your words and go before someone sees you. <coughs> I think he's gone. What was that all about? What on earth is Carmosa trying to hide? A body. Maybe I should sneak out the window and try to follow him. Why didn't you just look out the window when he was there? He can't have gone far. If I leave now, I'm sure I can catch up with him. This is a decision! No, no, that's crazy! I can't do that! Oh, no! But what if he's crazy and he kills me? Hmm... I can't not, can I? I just... I can't not do it! It's just gonna happen, doesn't it? I must be crazy, but this might be my only chance. That happiness! How long have I waited here, wishing for a change? Finally, an opportunity has presented itself. Carmosa clearly has a secret. If I could figure it out, I might have an advantage over her. Hmm, no one is outside the window. Now's as good a time as ever. Here goes nothing. The palace is so beautiful. Well, now what? I tried to keep my distance while following that man, and now I've lost his trail completely. Be somewhere up ahead, I'll really have to hurry up with to catch up with him. But if I accidentally pass him, then I run the risk of running into him when I return home. Ow! Cast these demonic excuses for plants! The way you scratch at a fellow, you're more like wild cats than shrubs. That must be him! This music reminds me of Kidnap the Sandy Claws. <laughs> Anybody else hear it? Wait for it. And now it's not doing it. Oh well. He's close. I'd better hide. Ah! Oh, shady character. Oh. Blasted rocks! What are they doing in my path? Oh my god! He's like a demon baron! Uh, okay, this is not gonna go well, but I'm gonna attempt it. You'd think they'd clear out this place, counting that a fellow can't see a thing in the dark? It's not proper, I tell you. Well, I'm sure this be the place where I'm scheduled to meet that smart-ass merchant. 
Smart ass or not, shouldn't you be more careful when talking about the man who pays you? Oh, Tobias, what have you done? Oi, boss, I was just talking a little to myself. No harm meant, you know? Truly, I suppose I can let this one go. We brought the package as discreetly as Lady Carmosa requested. Of course, of course! No ifs about it, boss. It wounds my honour that you doubt my competence for even a moment. No, I'd never doubt you. Now hand it over. Uh, before I do, boss, I have a little something I need needing to ask you. And what would that be? You know, I'm an honest man, but my curiosity took hold of me so hard, I had to have a look inside this package. And now you must die. And lo and behold, my eyes spies a mighty fine necklace set with rubies and made of gold. It's worth thousands of sovereigns at least, yeah? I specifically instructed you not to look inside. I think we're going to watch Tobias kill someone. But the necklace... Yes, it's probably worth quite a lot of money. I don't get it, boss. Why is the noble lady paying us to take this off her hands? Seems all wrong ways around me. I'm sure she has her reasons, and you're not being paid to poke around and ask needless questions. In fact, if you don't keep your mouth shut, you won't be paid at all. Whoa, boss, no need to get so angry. My mouth is secure as the royal treasury it is. I doubt the contents are quite as valuable. Still, you've completed your task, so here is your pay. Fifteen sovereigns. Try not to drink it all at once. Me? Never. You wound me with your accusations, boss. I'm sure. Well, we should return to town before someone stumbles upon us. What on earth is Tobias up to? Never mind that! It's not important! If I don't do something, they'll leave before I can do anything. What are you planning on doing? That might be my only chance to confront him. But I probably shouldn't act too impulsively. I would say hide. I gave him- I gave you money, Tobias! No. No. We don't need to. Not at this moment of time. I think I've seen enough. I better get back before they catch me or someone finds me missing, or he kills you. i would talk to Tobias about this later. I'll talk to Tobias about this later after I've had some time to think about it. It's best to speak with him alone anyway, and not in the middle of the night in some shady place where no one knows where you are. You know, basic survival? No, she doesn't have that. Ah, uh, back to the Lady of the Lake. In the morning. And uh, nothing's happening. Oi, what a night! Maybe Boss was right when he said not to drink away my pay in one go. Still, can't say it wasn't worth it for how great last night was. He's gonna die, isn't he? Wait, what exactly happened last night? How'd I even wind up here? Are you a fairy? The deer went this way, my lord! Oi, someone's coming! Better lay low for a mite! Oh. Hurry, before it gets away! Forget the deer, Captain. There are more important matters at hand. If this is about what you asked yesterday, my lord, I know little of politics or the affairs of the court. That's exactly why I need you. You're straightforward and honest, and you see things I can't. Behind all those smiles, everyone in the court lies to me. No, you're the only man I can trust. I love you, Perot. I will serve you- I will serve you to the best of my ability. What is it that you wish to discuss? It's about my father's last wish. I must have a wife before I ascend the throne. How am I to choose one? There is a ball in a few days. Isn't that your chance to find an eligible young lady? Lady? In theory, but that's the problem. How will I be able to tell? You'll just know. They'll hit you like lightning. You're looking at her all the time. The monarchy is weak without a king, and the nobles around me are plotting to advance themselves. 
They groom their daughters like prized spaniels in the hope that I'll be taken in by a pretty face. I need a wife who is strong and smart, someone who can rule the kingdom wisely, not feed me her father's poisonous words. I don't have a father. I'm perfect, but I doubt that I'll ever find such a woman. Ding! I've no doubt many such women exist, my lord. You should not give up so easily. It's quite loud. <laughs> You're right, Captain. It's just that I haven't had the fortune to meet one yet. But that'll all change soon. I'm surrounded by women who know little more than how to curtsy. And they do little more than wait to be handed out as political tokens. Truly, it is disheartening. And yet you must choose a wife from among the nobility regardless. It is, after all, tradition. As if tradition mattered to that brood of vipers. They plot to control the throne before it is even in my grasp. If I marry to please a powerful house, I risk having a fool for a wife. But what other choice do I have? You can marry me, my lord! If we respected the traditions to the fullest, you'd be able to choose any woman at the ball, even someone you didn't know. How convenient that this rule is often forgotten. Someone I didn't know. Captain, you're brilliant. It's perfect. I'm not sure I follow- I'm not sure yet I follow your thinking, my lord. A masquerade ball! I'll be able to choose from the woman without discriminating over looks or political ties. They've been pushing me to follow tradition for so long, they can't complain if I remember the old rules. Captain, you are truly a- oh. Captain, you are truly a remarkable man. I see now why father trusted you so much. Of course, my lord. Well, it's always an honor to be of service. Thank you so much, my friend. You are a rare breed indeed. Still faithful to your ideals. Ideals or not, our prey has long since escaped us, and if we linger any longer, people might grow suspicious of what we're really doing in this forest. You're right, my friend. Let us return to the castle with all haste. All the haste! Now that I have a solution in mind, I can return with a light heart. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's a bit of juicy gossip you don't hear every day. A masquerade ball, huh? I know a certain lady who would pay handsomely for this information. That she would. Looks like an evil magician. The day may have started lousy after all that night's, last night's drinking, but it turned out to be quite a good one after all. All thanks to a few eight extra rounds at the pub. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, my voice. <sighs> what time is it? Who are you asking? Save. Right, sorry about that guys, I went to get a drink, because the voices, they kill my voice. Right, the sun is already so high in the sky, I must have slept in. Ding! Considering how long I spent outside last night, that's hardly a surprise. I'm still not sure what to think about what happened. I want to trust Tobias, but he looks kind of sketchy, doesn't he? Well... At least it's something different from the usual. Always look on the bright side. Strange how my life has been so boring all this time. Then suddenly all these things are happening to me. I know, right? But even stranger than that, I wonder why no one has come to wake me up yet. It must be at least noon, if not later. Surely Carmosa hasn't decided to be gracious and grant me a holiday. Whoa! Of your pitiful excuses. Uh oh. Kamos is definitely not in a gracious mood. I should get going and see what's going on before she catches me like this. Uh oh. 
Everyone is here. Thanks. You're an even bigger disappointment than usual! Looks like Carmes is glad mad at Gloria today. I wonder why. Hey, Sophia. Cinders! Not so loud! I don't want to get in trouble or miss any of this. But what's going on? Business as usual! Mother's in a bad mood and Gloria was the nearest thing she could yell at. I'm not interested in your excuses! It's your duty to make sure there's enough wood for the fireplace! But... If their servant is allegedly ill, I'll find someone else! Do it yourself if you have to! Ding! I'm sorry, Mother. I understand. If you truly understood, this wouldn't have happened in the first place! But I'm wasting my breath! I can only hope that you've learned your lesson and this won't happen again. Who are you looking at? It seems I can't trust you girls with even the smallest tasks! I wish that one of you would finally take charge of things. Because I'm dying. Yes, Mother. Well, don't just say yes! Prove your worth by taking action! Make sure dinner is ready in two hours! I expect the wood to be chopped by then as well. Don't worry, Mother. I will. S Cinders! Sophia! Why were you two wasting your time eavesdropping instead of being useful? <laughs> it's not a waste to watch the mighty all-knowing Gloria get scolded by Mom. <clears throat> oh, what's this? You usually have such a sharp reply, but now you can't think of anything to say? Whatever happened to the perfect glorious outspoken Gloria? One scolding from mom is all it takes to shut you up. I don't have time to deal with your childish jealousy right now, but watch your tongue. It will certainly get you in trouble someday. Anyway, you too hard, Mother. Dinner must be ready in two hours, so get started. What? Why do we have to get dinner ready? Because I'll be busy taking care of Mother's other needs, like getting the wood chopped. If you'd rather not, I can always tell Mother you refuse to obey her orders. Fine, I'll do it. Just pray that your food isn't poisoned. <laughs> As if you'd have the guts to do such a thing, little sister. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have duties to attend to. Well, it looks like I'm stuck working with you, Cinders. Let's do this. She is a little bit of a... Why are we so cruel to Gloria? Why? Don't you hate her too? Well, maybe, but you're her sister. Aren't you supposed to support each other? Oh, if only Gloria believes that. No, there's certainly no support here and it's mostly her fault. She always acts so smug and self-righteous, but there's no trace of her own will or personality in there. She's just trying to copy Mom, even though it's impossible! And of course she takes out her all her frustration on me! She probably thinks Mom will recognize her more if she keeps degrading me. I have no reason to be kind to her. I understand, but don't you wish that would change? Living under Carmosa is hard enough already. Wouldn't it be better to band together instead of fight each other? Maybe, but what does it matter? Why am I even discussing this with you? I must be getting desperate. Of course I want to be on better terms with Gloria, but she drew the line a long time ago. I may not be as clever or as beautiful as Mom or Gloria, but I'm not naive. People don't just change. They'll remain cruel as long as it benefits them. The 
had such a sad outlook on life. It must have been really hard for you growing up. Oh, please! I don't need pity, especially not from you! Life is hard and no amount of sweet words will change that. Now let's go get dinner ready before we get in trouble. Well, that's all for today, folks, but the story will continue. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you all in the future. TTFN and cheerio!